Hello students, welcome to your pre-education. I am Jitendra Tyagi. And right now, uh, I welcome our ex-student, Rishabh Kumar, uh, who is pursuing M.Tech in microelectronics from a BITS Pilani campus, Pilani campus maybe. Okay, so uh, Rishabh, most welcome at your pre-education platform. Thank you, sir. So right now, you, Rishabh, you are in hostel? Uh, yes, sir, right now. Uh, we are uh, staying in hostel. Uh, right now in my i am in my current second semester okay so uh, Risa, uh, in the beginning of this interaction uh, please uh, tell us about your basic details like from where you uh, pass your btech and percentage gate score category okay so everything what uh, mm. whatever is important for students mm. uh, yes sir so uh, my name is rishabh s kumar i did my btech from nit calicut in electrical and electronics engineering uh, I passed out in 2021, so I did. I gave my gate in 2021, but uh, my rank was not uh, that good. So I took a drop and I gave the gate one more year, and which turned out to be good comparatively. So uh, that's why uh, I aim for pursuing microelectronics in Bits Pilani. So, okay. So uh, what was your gate score this year in 2022? Yeah, in 2022, I gave uh, two papers in uh, in Tripoli and also in instrumentation. Okay. So uh, I applied in Bits Pilani through my instrumentation score, which was uh, good, I guess. So it was 734. Uh, yeah, 734. Okay, and it was in which category? I'm, I belong to general category. Okay, general 734. Yeah. And your BTEC CGPA? So my BTEC CGP is 8.11. 8.11, okay. So NIT Calicut is also very good college for BTEC placements. Yeah, in fact, it, uh, it's actually a really, uh, really good college when you consider the placement. But the thing was that I was more focused to go in an electronics-based company, which is why I didn't uh, want my career to shift towards the IT-based company. So even though we had several companies visiting our campus in college, uh, in in our college, I was more adamant that I won't actually go to a honest based company, which was only possible if we have this proper knowledge, which I think you'll get only after doing this M Tech. So I thought that maybe this M Tech degree, microelectronics branch, would finally be rewarding for me in the sense that I could end up in a electronics based company, whichever I desire. Which is why I gave my uh, which is why I gave my gate uh, to microelectronics uh, M Tech. Okay, so one of your dream came true. When you joined microelectronics yeah. in uh, this. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. Uh, how is your first semester experience there in Bits Pilani campus? Yeah, so uh, in first semester, the thing is that uh, since I'm from a triple E background, the one issue that uh, many belonging to triple E background may face is that you have a subject called semiconductor devices, which the EC students may find a bit easier. Uh, other than that, if you have a good basics in electronics, uh, electronics in the sense that if you are comfortable with the analog electronic circuits, the circuit theorems and all, you can actually manage the rest of the subjects. And other than that, uh, as for this uh, like solid state, uh, I mean, uh, like the electronic device and circuit, if you put in a little more effort, you can actually manage that also. There is no such thing that ECE students may find it much easier as compared to AAA students. The thing is that, if you're doing your work regularly and keeping it up to the mark, uh, then it will be like you can be almost the same level as that of the EC students so also. There in your no class, uh, how many students are there? Uh, in microelectronics branch, we have 36 students. 36. So uh, these students are from all the branches, electrical, electronic instrumentation? Yeah, like mostly uh, like this year. The thing is that uh, the proportion of AAA students is more compared to EC students. Oh. So mostly everyone is from either e, uh, ECE or Triple E itself. Other than that, there is no one else is there. Okay. So placements are uh, naturally good in uh, this bits planning campus. Yeah, yeah. The thing oh. is that almost everyone coming into microelectronics branch, either microelectronics are embedded, they are actually more focused to go towards the VLSA sector itself. So okay. mostly everyone gets placed in the VLSA company itself towards the final year. So, uh, and actually no one has gone to this IT firm. Everyone goes to, uh, I mean, this VLSI sectors only, VLSI based okay. companies. Okay. That is a good thing there. Yeah. 
Okay, so there are, uh, we, they, they have three campus actually uh, in Goa yeah. also in Hyderabad. Mm -hmm. So uh, do you have some information uh, regarding uh, this placement? So all the recruitment occurs together or uh, individually they recruit, companies recruit individually uh, in different campuses? Yeah, in fact, the thing is that uh, so far to my knowledge, the thing is that they have their own placement cell. So whatever placement cell you have in campus may have some kind of relationship with them. But uh, mostly what happens is that almost all the companies which comes to the Pilani campus also, which is the Hyderabad and Goa campus also. It's not that it only comes to Pilani campus and not to the other campus. And almost some of my seniors has also told that uh, whatever companies come to the Pilani campus also visit the other two campus also. Okay, so but cutoff is high in Pilani campus. Yeah, yeah. The cutoff so, for Pilani campus is high. If someone yeah. getting uh, microelectronics in Hyderabad in low score mm -hmm. and not getting uh, this is Pilani and he joined Hyderabad, mm -hmm. then there is no issue, I think. No, the thing is that uh, as far as you are interested in the subject, you are interested in the in paying in the microelectronics course, it doesn't matter wherever you go. Like finally, uh, the placement is actually guaranteed if you are uh, working to a if you are putting in a lot of work or even if you are doing the hard work. So either you'll be in Pilani campus or Hyderabad campus, you can actually get a really good placement if you're doing your work right. So That's what I uh, do you remember what other options you got during your counseling session when you were yeah. uh, with uh, discussing with the different options that I got this, I got this and where should go. So can you recall some of the options which you got on the basis of your uh, gate score? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So in the uh, COAP portal, I actually uh, use my instrumentation score while applying. Uh, so the, uh, in my, so the initial uh, initial allotments which I got were like in IIT Delhi, I got control and automation. Uh, then in IIT Kharagpur and Rurki, I got signal processing uh, course. Uh, then uh, I got uh, embedded course in Kharagpur also. Uh, uh, then, and yeah, in NIT also, also in C C CCMT also you applied? Yeah, sir. CCMT also I applied. C in CCMT, uh, I got NIT Trichy VLSI in the first round itself. Uh, so uh, it was almost in the the same time itself the allotment for uh, Bits Pilani was taking place. So I actually I didn't go for CCMT. I took my admission in Pilani itself. Okay, and. Uh, there is only MTech program, I think. No? There is no MS program in Plani. Uh, no, sir. No, sir. M F no, actually, here we call it MS program, ME programs, like Master of Engineering no, ME, programs. ME. We call yes, it. They call ME. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, but the duration is same. Like it's for two years itself. Okay. And uh, uh, fee is uh, high, I think. So, what is the fee structure, if you know? On the basis yeah, of uh, sir, uh, for the initial semester, the first semester we had we had to pay a tuition fee of two lakh eighty four thousand, uh, and also uh, the other fees like the mess charge and all is not included. But actually, the thing is that mostly. So uh, roughly, how much it will cost you in two lakhs? Uh, two two years. Uh, how much it it will cost you around? Yeah, so it can come out to be double. Like for one one semester, since it is coming out to be two lakh eighty four thousand, for two semesters, two semester it will come out to be almost double. So no, no, including hostel it... charges and all other expenditures. So we can yeah, so that yeah. may come out to be nearly three lakh twenty two thousand something per year. Yeah, uh, no, per sem, per sem, uh, it would come out to be that much amount. But I guess that's not a big issue as far as uh, you get a stipend of. 12,000 from the MHRD and also if you are doing the TA work in the campus, you can actually get a, a 13,000 stipend also from the college side, which okay. accounts for almost, so yeah. So you can so, get 25,000 stipend in bits planning? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Almost 25,000 so you get how, per month. How, what is the criteria for that? Like uh, if you are applying to bits Pilani through your GATE score, uh, then surely you're eligible to get the MHRD scholarship. Yes. And also after coming here, if you come to Beach Pilani campus, you'll find that uh, if you enroll for the TA ship, teaching assistantship work in the campus, okay. you'll be assigned okay. the certain lab works or like kind of uh, certain works will be assigned to you by your, uh, your assigned teacher, the faculty members. 
So depending upon that, they will sanction your amount of stipend and towards the end of the semester, you will be getting that amount. Okay. Collectively, you will get at the end of semester. Collectively. collectively. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, uh, I think the entire fee can be forfeited if this is the situation. No, still the entire fee can't be forfeited, but a uh, be... large portion of the fee can yeah. be, can be, yeah. And how is the hostel mass facility pulled all these uh, things? Yes, sir. Uh, the hostel is actually really good. You have this good surroundings to study. As you can see, the hostel, uh, like, uh, I find the hostel atmosphere here to be uh, really good. Like, you have this really good roommates where you can actually interact with them. You can study with them. They actually help me a lot. And coming to the food, uh, the, it's like mostly you have uh, a mix of North Indian and South Indian food. Uh, so food is not an issue and you also have the several shops inside so even if you decide to have something which uh, uh, like whichever things you like you can actually go out to these shops and eat it so food is food so is also really good life is cool or very tensed no the tensing situation comes like because you have this good pool of students uh, surrounding you so you have to be uh, like you have to be in the competitive mood itself still even if you have your gate exams over uh, you have to be in this competitive mood like uh, when you have these exams and all everyone is uh, in a mood to study so you can't be here chilling out like yeah, you also have to study pass yeah. the exam is not the criteria there yeah, 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 you yeah. have to work hard yeah. if you want to get yeah, success right, right. your success right. is your but work is yeah. required yeah you have to put in your effort that's it so anything special you want to tell us about your journey with habits planning up to now? Uh, like uh, what I would like to recommend is that uh, if you are uh, so particular to study a certain course, you should choose that. Uh, the fees is not this concern. Like if you are so passionate that you yeah, that you want to study this course, then the college and the fees at fees should and the fees shouldn't be this factor which hinders you from studying. That's what I have to tell. Like bits may be offer bits may be having this huge fees like compared to these other colleges, but they also provide the facilities what you require. Yes. That's what I have to say. Like uh, like finally you are here to study and you get this correct atmosphere to study. That's what bits provides you. So, so any guess, idea about um, average CTC the students get after placement in VLSI sector in this campus? Uh, sir, like uh, the, I'm not so sure about the CTC, but the thing is that many, uh, almost everyone from the microelectronics branch of our seniors has placed. They have been placed in really good companies with a, uh, with really good uh, salary. That's what I heard. Uh, I I don't know much about the CTC, but they are all placed. That's what I know. Okay, good. So, how is the uh, you have joined our postgate counseling program also? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So. How is your recommendation? Uh, the thing is that uh, in my case, the thing was that I didn't know much about how to apply. Like after writing the gate exam, what is the next procedure? How you need to apply to certain colleges uh, and the timing at what time they actually uh, publish uh, the results, either it be for the MS programs or PhD programs. So whenever it comes. So I was not so uh, informed about that. So when I joined, the reason why I joined the postgate counseling program was that I get to know about the dates and also whenever I get these multiple choices or options regarding what courses to take or what are the best choices or best options I get to interact with my mentor which is Sidhantri Tyagi sir during that time so he actually helped me a, a lot during that time so uh, whenever you get in this dilemma kind of situation whichever choices you have to take like uh, getting advice from a, a person it actually helps a lot so that's what uh, Tyagi sir provided me that time. So uh, I am actually really thankful to you, sir. Okay, Any actually guidance is important uh, in the life of everyone. Yeah. Okay, it is not just mm -hmm. a, a program, but uh, mm -hmm. every time we have need of guidance uh, because everyone, even we can talk about ourselves also. In many cases, we seek some good guidance. Yes. So that is really important for all the students. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, Rishab. So it was a nice uh, meeting with you. And I wish you, you so. all the best. You work hard there. 
and get okay. very good placements also very good knowledge from there also and uh, you prove yourself a very a very good student of uh, this planning campus okay yes sir thank you all sir. the best thank you